Only on RTV6, controversy surrounding a neighborhood basketball goal. One man installed a hoop over his street years ago for community use, but now a neighbor wants all the activity to stop, even taking his complaints to the city of Indianapolis. RTV6 reporter Chance Walser joins us live downtown with who city officials appear to be siding with. Chance. Todd, this is in a neighborhood off of Southport Road and Sherman Drive on the city's south side. On any given summer evening, you can see more than a dozen kids there playing sports in their neighborhood cul-de-sac. Unfortunately for them, all that fun could soon be coming to an end. <laughs> on the city's south side, the sounds of summer fill the air, and most neighbors are happy to hear it. I like to see the kids down there playing. Kids playing basketball instead of out doing other stuff. For more than a decade, kids have flocked to this cul-de-sac with little complaint from neighbors playing mostly soccer and basketball. You made it. Needless to say, a lot of shots have made it through this hoop since Michael Israel cemented it in three years ago. All the neighborhood kids play here and we just figured it'd be a lot better here than having four goals throughout the court. The fun got interrupted three weeks ago when someone here called the police complaining about the activity. Most suspect one neighbor in particular. There's new people that's moved in that house there where the truck is, so I don't know anything about them. We got a new neighbor catty corner from us that moved in six months ago, and I guess since it's been nice out, he's seen all the kids out here and doesn't like it. That neighbor didn't want to be on camera. He denies calling police, but says he is concerned about sporting equipment hitting vehicles that are parked along the street. Friday, city officials put Israel on notice to remove the goal as soon as possible. They told us that we either had to remove the goal or they were going to come cut it down and remove it within 48 hours. It's going to eliminate the kids playing. <laughs> the sounds of summer possibly silenced here for the first time in a long time. They come here to play basketball. If you take that away from them, what else are they going to do? Uh, technically, the goalpost is over a city right of way, which is against a city ordinance. I called the Department of Public Works to see what, if any, options the owner of this goalpost has. To be fair, it was pretty late in the day. They said they'd check on this specific case for me and get back to me tomorrow. We, of course, will keep you updated either on the air or online with any developments we get. Live downtown, Chance Walser, RTV6.